Hey guys, this is Sahil from Editigy and it's official. Samsung has launched not one, but two new Galaxy Note smartphones for the Indian market. The Galaxy Note 10 and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now I've got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus in my hand, which starts at roughly 80,000 rupees. And I'm going to walk you guys through some of these key features and specifications so you get a better idea about what all this phone has to offer, starting with the display. And do keep in mind that this is the biggest phone that Samsung has made to date. You're getting a 6.8 inch Quad HD Plus dynamic AMOLED display. There's also a central hole punch that houses a 10 megapixel selfie camera. Uh, there's also curved edges, which makes it somewhat easier to hold the phone in your hand. Uh, moving on to the back, you get a shiny metallic finish with shiny colors, which some people have been complaining about. They say it makes the phone look a little bit cheap, uh, but I'm okay with it. I like how you get that rainbow pattern when the light hits the back. Other than that, you've also got a quad camera setup with an additional depth uh, vision camera, which uh, helps in adding extra depth to your portrait picture, so you get that nice bokeh effect in the background. Uh, also on the side, uh, on the left side, you get volume rocker and you also get a power button. On the right side is completely uh, clean, no buttons or ports over there. But at the bottom, you get a USB-C port, you get a speaker grill, and you also get the iconic S Pen, which is essentially a stylus for the smartphone. Uh, not sure also if you notice or not, there is uh, no more headphone jack. Uh, Samsung's completely done away with it. And honestly, it's not really a deal breaker. They were already doing this uh, on their premium, on, sorry, on their mid-budget phones and on their uh, affordable phones. So it was only a matter of time that they also uh, dished the headphone jack on their more premium phones as well. So essentially, those are all the key features. I mean, there are a lot of other key features that I haven't got into yet, like it comes with a new and powerful Exynos chipset. Uh, you get a 4300 mAh battery with fast char charging capabilities. Uh, but I'm going to save all of that for an in-depth review, uh, which will be coming very soon on Editor G. So do stay tuned for that. Uh, but apart from that, uh, first impression wise, first very early impression wise, I think Samsung may very well have another big winner on its hands with the new Note 10 Plus.